if you're at all lost, feel free to either listen to the person beside you and sing along with them, or at any point, you can go right to the soprano part. And those are the at first, I was kind of worried because I just didn't want to say the wrong thing. You know, I didn't want to feel like it was being forced. Initially, it was just part of the course to have some community hours to get involved in something that's going to have a bigger impact on ourselves. We had a couple hours of training. We came back. We said, oh, what are we going to do? We don't, we don't know how we're going to relate. When they did the course, they were telling us what to do and what not to do, and I really didn't want to mess up. And of course, I had lots of questions about how do you do that with people who are in the early stages of Alzheimer's. But then we came here and we saw, you know, we relate just the exact same ways. That first day, everyone was so excited to be here. And what is better than music for connecting people and, you know, giving voice to those who have lost theirs, of which Alzheimer's is a great example. And one, two, three. It's a long way. This specifically looks then at, um, at adolescent students and then seniors with some form of dementia. Uh, and what that means for, um, uh, for short-term memory, long-term memory, uh, how singing can be used as a therapeutic tool. On many levels, I think there's a, you know, a social benefit. I, there's definitely stimulus that's going on in the brain. Excellent. I find it amazing to see when someone sort of tuned out and then there's music and all of a sudden they remember or they recollect with something and they sort of, the light shines on again and they don't look quite as within themselves. I think when you sing or when you listen to good music, it touches your soul. I really believe that. When you sing, it makes you give expression to something that's within you. There is, I think, a stigma around dementia that it's people don't know about it. Here we go, bass. But simple common areas like music brings people together and it doesn't matter who they are. I feel that it's like medicine. Good music to me is like medicine and I wouldn't miss it. My voice goes up and down, it's squeaky. <laughs> well, when I tried out and that, I told her, they told me I was a, a tenor. And I said, yeah, I am a tenor. I sing 10 or 12 miles away, <laughs> you know. To me, it's an experience to help my friend. Now it's my turn to uh, pay back and help him out. I think it's a blessing for him. He he goes home and we have a good evening usually and evenings are the worst part, you know, the difficult part often, but yeah, it's, it's very nice for him. I feel like I like to stay and keep going. I do like it and I like the people here. The combination of the three different groups is wonderful, especially having the young people here. We don't have too many young people here. <laughs> the sounds, when they come together, they evoke some honor, understanding. You, you hear something, the, the note says things that are not even written in the book. I like the storms passing over. I think it describes really what we're doing here. 
that I sing with just perks right up and she's so excited and she even corrects me sometimes when I'm not singing it the way that she learned how to. Oh, that's a hard one. I think it might be You'll Never Walk Alone. Um, I've always been a secret fan of Mr. Fleet and it's just a great experience to have him who also um, has his problems, just have him just, you know, just go out and conduct everyone and have Mr. Biden just smiling in the back, just so excited. Ken was, was, I'm not sure the specific date that he was diagnosed, um, but we did notice instances with Ken for dementia, um, which eventually led to a diagnosis of, of Alzheimer's. I would say Ken is one of the strongest choral conductors in Canada, definitely one of the, the most well-known um, as well. An incredible musician, lucky to know him. No question. That's the first thing they should be doing is, is singing. You know, it, it brings them back to their core. It changes your whole chemistry inside of you. I, I just know how therapeutic singing is. And I think it's not just something that I need, I think it's something the world needs. That's what I'm trying to do now, is I get up every day and try and uh, get everybody to just sing their song, you know, whatever it is, sing your song. <laughs> 